Alright folks, welcome back, sort of, kind of, to Let's Play Kagero Deception 2. This Mysterious JG, I just got done playing through a level in a very unimpressive fashion, but I did win. And uh, then the game crapped out. At this point, I'm not sure uh, which of these plays I'm going to actually post. I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to post either of them, because at this point, I'm not sure this is going to work. But still. <laughs> Let's see what we can do about this. Maybe I'm overreacting. It's a simple crash that we'll be able to fix, but... Basically, uh... The last... Well, it was about one and a half videos worth of gameplay. Uh, I won the level, and, um... Then it got to the Mission 22 complete screen. And, uh... Would not keep loading. Or it wouldn't load, it just sat there. It never even started going, Ooh. Anyway, but let's read through the end of this rogues gallery again. Why not? Uh, just making a mental note. We're starting about 33 minutes into my uh, commentary track file. That's about a half an hour of my life when I get back. So that I'll know when I've been playing for about 15 minutes. And now. Lombard. Leopold's brother. Leopold's brother risks life-killing TMD to avenge his friend's death. He does not have teleporting powers. Angela's shadow. Telekip for Deadly, prepared to die, protecting your cause and her people. Does have teleporting powers. And Boro the Ninja. Killed many TMD with brother Iz Izayoi. Ready to die fighting at Hopes for Peace. Has teleporting powers. His brother Izayoi, apparently somebody we've already fought, I, I guess, because they mention him by name, but he doesn't show up here. I figured he would show up as, like, the secret dude at the end that they don't warn you about. But no. You kill those three, you get a screen that says Mission 22 clear, and then Mission 22. Chapter 22, bloody hands. You get Chapter tw chapter 22 clear, and then the game freezes. At least it did last time. Let's hope that doesn't happen this time. It's very quiet. Yes, it's strange. Too, too quiet. This place feels empty, like my soul. If you say it so, it must be right. What, she's right about everything? I don't understand. That's the joke I made last time. Maybe I'll post that, and this will be redundant. Maybe there's another exit somewhere. There can't be another exit! Let's search for another exit. Well, I thought we agreed that I'm always right! But you just... If I say it is so, it must be so, right? I mean, seriously, dude. I found you left, girl. Where is the king? Did you kill the king by any chance? Did you just happen to kill the king? By the way, why is half of this room made of my hair? She's her eyes covered with hair, you see. But yes, my mission is to kill humans. What? Nothing? What, what are you saying that you killed the king? The priest? And the other? Are you saying that you killed the praying, the keys, the rabbi on the golf course, and the king, and the other soldiers all by yourself? That's yeah, true, whatever. We should thank you and then get the hell out of here before we die. Let's go home, Lombard. I am grateful that she killed the king, but she also killed my friend. I can't let her go. She's so beautiful. Lombard, you dumbass, she's gonna freaking kill us. We have no choice but to fight her. No, you got a choice. You can just get the hell out of here before I have to kill you. Oh, let's see where this makes it land. It'd be nice if it happens to land, uh... Oh, you know what? That's not even gonna help. I have to do... If I, I can't get them in the river, there's no point using... Ch I can't use the spring floor to get them in the river, because then I can't do judgment, so... Forget it. Let's just do a pull claw here. Then a nice, uh... Cold arrow. Maybe a uh, bolt rock, and hope that any of this is ready. No, I can't set a trap over another trap, huh? Oh, because that's a f okay. 
It's not a wall trap, so... by shit, but I can still mess him up. Although, that didn't seem to mess him up that much. Did he not get hit by the Volt Rock? Alright, so the deal with this before when I did it, folks, is that uh, I can see that dude and set up traps for him, but she keeps, like, teleporting around, and it's frustrating, and I can't see her until I attack him, and then she jumps out of his shadow, like, ninja-style, and starts kicking my ass. So I'm gonna get like, uh, a magnet going here right in front of me. So that if she shows up and starts like stabbing me in the face, I can suddenly spring a bunch of traps that are like right here. I think that's my best bet against her. Get out of here so I don't get killed by the rock. Oh, here she comes. And he's dead anyway, that's nice. And she's dead! Awesome! Double whammy! Oh, don't forget what I've done. Now I will join my friend. Do you understand what it means to kill a human? Oh, baby, does she understand? She understands very well what it means to kill a human. Practically the only thing she does understand, and now he's appeared at the top of the stairs. It could, I could just, just about be ready to set that trap off in time, but no, I don't think so. It's too fast. Pretty tight if I trapped him in here again, though. Oh wow, this is going to be the fastest kill ever. Except that I got caught too. I didn't think I was going to get caught. Oh, what the hell. Let's take him out. Maybe this one won't get me. It must be my destiny for my death to pass unnoticed. Pretty much. Let's just really hope that this time it loads correctly. Mission 22 clear. But... It doesn't look like it's loading. And that's a shame, because that went way smoother than last time. <sighs> okay, well, that's two tries and no joy, so... There's a couple of ways I can solve this problem, folks. I could prevail upon Bobo the Vulture to let me finish this LP at his place on his PS3. And uh, that's about all I can think of, actually, because it would appear that this game is no longer going to play on my PS2. Hmm. Very interesting, but stupid. All right, folks. Well, now I've got, like, oof, between... I had even a little I'm going to split this into two videos at about the 20-minute mark thing. Ignoring that... Uh, or just like having a couple seconds of silence while I imagine that I'm going to split the video. Uh, now I've got about a 40-something video. It's like a, you know, average length Romance of Three Kingdoms video, maybe a little on the long side video of me completing this mission twice and never having it actually count. Yuck. And I was getting into it again, too, folks. I haven't played this game in a long time. I'm starting to get into it. Maybe I'll put this up somewhere and call it the blooper reel or something. I don't know. 
people who are starved of JG videos. But uh, for right now, this one would appear to be a wash. I'm giving it a couple more seconds. I was watching my timer, giving it about a minute to load. And it don't... Oh! Seriously, I just hit the start button and it loaded? Was that my problem? Was that what was wrong before? Holy shit, I'm retarded. You have to hit the start button to get it to load. There's nothing wrong with the PS2 at all. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Well, there you go, folks. Once again, um, you get to see me acting like an idiot. Sometimes I think because I'm doing commentary, trying to talk, keep things interesting, it's in preventing my brain from engaging fully. But it would appear that last time, I played through this whole thing, and it seems like last time was fine, too. Probably. I don't know. Well, let's move on. I'm disappointed in myself for being stupid, but I should be happy because this means that my game was actually working. Lombard was smashed and shocked by Volt Rock, so was Angela, because they died in one, two for one, deadly Volt Rock. Aboro was judged by judgment, but sadly, I got caught in that, um, magnet, Volt magnet. I'm surprised I did. I thought I was just clear, but it's still pretty awesome. I killed, I killed those guys like boom, 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 very fast killing once uh, I got going. So I, I'm, I'm happy with how that went. What was the um, total experience bonus? Clear time. 1 minute, 32 seconds. Sweet. Alright, let's keep moving. There's still plenty of chances for this game to crash. After all... Oh, it's Zoya. Okay, so he is going to show up, the ninja that you mentioned before. Captain Keith. Zoya, where is Angela? I'm sorry, Captain. She went inside the ruins with Lombard to kill the king. She went inside with my brother? Yes. And my brother. You didn't mention that, did you, jerk? Then... What happened to my brother? And uh, Angela too, I guess. You can just see his crazy purple ninja eyes thinning slightly in sadness. He was killed by the girl. That's impossible. I heave at you. I freeze at you. Leopold! Whoa, giant steroid man, huh? I'm sorry. I'm just fucked. Fucked. Why so okay. Slow to him! Zoya! Tell me exactly what happened! Okay, folks, so let me think what I'm gonna do here. I had like a half an hour's worth of video that just kinda. because I didn't know what I was doing. It was, it was full of me screwing up, forgetting how the controls worked, and ultimately not realizing that you can just press this. you have to press the start button when the mission's cleared screen comes up, and thinking my PlayStation had died, because it's been giving me so much trouble. So, I guess I'm going to cut that out, but now I have to think back to what I told you in that video. And what I told you in that video was this. Um, coming back to this after a very long pause, as somebody noticed and poked a little bit of fun at me for, during some videos on this that are fairly recent within this LP, I was speculating, as to, or wondering aloud, hmm, should I do an LP of, uh, an LP of Romance of Three Kingdoms? Which, obviously, I've been doing now for quite a while. So, yes, it's, I had a really long recording session of this game. I got a Saturday where I had plans to go out and do some nerd stuff with friends. We were going to play, like, some StarCraft 2 and stuff. And I was like, well, I'll wait for them to call. And, you know, I'll just, like, LP this to, like, you know, I, I, well, yeah, they, they know to text me just in case. So I'll LP this game until they text. And then, like, many hours later than I was expecting to hear from people, I did. And I went out and lp But I basically had an entire Saturday that was, like, nerdy fun. But much more of it than I expected was dedicated to this game, and I got way ahead in this game. So you may have noticed that I, been, I had been releasing like one of these a day when it was first started. Then I started release like they weren't getting a hell of a lot of views. Certainly not compared to the Romance of Three Kingdoms video, which was you know very popular by my standards. So this start, I started releasing them once a week instead of once a day, or every two days or so. You may have noticed I've been doing them once a day again recently. That's because ba -ba -da -ba, I've got my next LP planned, or at least one of them. Vulture Bobo, the uh, general of literature, has uh, given me a lot of great gifts over the years that I've known him. But um, favorite gift I've ever gotten from him being the very cheap, 
external hard drive he got me, but it was an external hard drive that was completely full of Mystery Science Theater that he had downloaded off of, like, BitTorrent and stuff. Totally awesome. Illegal, but totally awesome. Um, yeah, and I always make fun of, oh, it was illegal, but it's like, keep circulating the tapes. They, uh, totally told us to do this. But anyway, uh, no, but what he got me recently is a gift. Oh, and I show you, from an LP perspective, the relevant gift is, one year, back when Romance of Three Kingdoms 11 was pretty much a new game, he got me, he must have been flush with cash that, that particular year, because for my birthday, he got me three games. One PS1, two PS2. PS1 game, which I lost without ever getting a chance to play, and I've apologized to him for this. Since then, he got me two ball number one. For the PS2, he got me Rumble Roses, which was less than ten bucks. You may have real, you may by now know that I've actually played and enjoyed Rumble Roses. That's probably come up once or twice. And uh, the other one, another thing that you know, oh, you may have heard me mention before, Romance of Three Kingdoms Eleven. That was the, that was the big dollar game. I think. Rumble Roses and Tobal probably collectively cost like around 10 or 12 bucks, and then he also got me a new game. So that was pretty sweet. What he got me this year? Trapped, the PS2 sequel to this game. And that's part of the reason I want to get through this game, because I, I don't want to, like, I want to LP Trapped. I don't want to play Trapped. I want to trip. When I LP Trapped, I figure I might as well do a blind, because I've never played it before. It might be interesting to do a blind LP of Trapped. And, um,. To do that, I pretty much need to have this game done so that I can start playing Trapped. So as much as I'm enjoying this game, I don't really feel like I'm rushing it, but I'm kind of rushing it. I'm ready to be going with the, other, the new game. So let's see what we've got ahead of us. Oh, we've got Shia the Fighter, Shia LaBeouf, joined RB, TMD, after an embarrassing loss to them. Ace Fighter if she stays calm. Oh, that's a girl. Huh. It's Geyser the Shogun. Oh, these guys are crazy. Powerful. Protected against explosions, falling rocks, walls, bear traps, and arrows. What does that leave? Explosions don't work. Falling rocks don't work. Walls, bear traps, and arrows. I guess I have to electrocute him. Okay. Inferno the Pyromaniac. Appropriate name. Had no plan to fight until his son died suddenly and Keith invited him to join. Died suddenly when Keith killed him. Zoya the Ninja killed many TMD using ninja knives, more skilled with knives than Brother Aboro. Who died in like less than a minute? Leave Bold of Soldier, sympathizer of Keith, ever skilled, but very intelligent, tactical expert. Yeah, clearly he's like a freaking genius. Alright, what kind of traps can we make now? I got 5,000 arc. Trap data going here. I could make evil breath or a vat. What does vat do? Vat drops drops on victim, enraging victim for hours. <laughs> Ridiculous. But it is a trap that like allows you to control where your opponents go, so that's useful in its way. I kind of had in mind what I wanted to build towards next, and now I've forgotten. Was it Laser Arrow? Laser Arrow is like pretty freaking powerful. Electric Arrow shoots from mask and impales victim upon impact. I need Buzzsaw and Cold Arrow. Buzzsaw requires Spike Wall and Chain Needle, both of which I can make. But what is Buzzsaw itself? Saw Blight flies through the air. Drops victim upon impact. Laser arrow requires buzzsaw and cold arrow. What does cold arrow require? Don't I already have cold arrow? I thought it did. Maybe I have something similarly named. I have cold arrow. But you need to get buzzsaw. But you need to get laser arrow. Hold on. To get laser arrow, you need cold arrow and buzzsaw. I thought you needed cold arrow just to get buzzsaw. Now I don't understand it at all. No, okay. So if I get chain needles, but well, what, what can I get over here that I don't already have? Hellfire. It requires fireball and catastrophe. Pillar of fire extends one block, blowing victim five blocks away. I wonder if you can aim it. If you can, that sounds pretty cool. That requires fireball and catastrophe. Fireball? 
Catastrophe requires Quake Bomb and Smash Floor. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm gonna spend so much time trying to figure this stuff out. I've got Smash Floor. Quake Bomb requires Blast Bomb and Spring Floor. The laser arrows sound like they're probably more effective, but Hellfire sounds cooler, so let's get Hellfire. That requires Fireball and Catastrophe. Okay, now do I have Fireball by any chance? Fireball requires Rolling Bomb, which I have, and Blast Bomb, which I don't. So let's get Blast Bomb. I think I can get Blast Bomb. Of flame spreads across one block and pushes victim three blocks. Yes, let's get blast bomb. Then we can get fireball. Flaming death. We have a lot of electric death. Let's get some flaming death. Doesn't look that impressive, but uh, it pushes victims three blocks. That's pretty cool. And we can't afford fireball, but it is coming soon. So, do we want to start using uh, this? Awesome new trap that I got here, this, uh... Spring Floor, Cold Claw, and Judgment. Do I want to, like, replace, uh... Judgment or something with... No, I don't want to replace Judgment. Judgment works in water and does super damage. It's awesome. I'm not replacing it. So let's just... We just spot a new trap that we're not even going to use. Awesome. Let's move on. Probably should have called it a video before I started this, but oh well. Videos are going to get screwed up now, folks. What can I do? Keith. The king is dead. You must rule the country now. You have no time for revenge. I agree with Inferno. You can avenge your friends without you. Thank you. I appreciate your support, but I have no interest in power. But, Captain... Uh, uh, uh. What else could we expect from you? Am I speaking nonsense? Yes, pretty much. Okay, that is the key that I know. Power? Let the humans have it. Wait, what? You're not human? What the hell's going on? Are you okay, Leopold? <laughs> Are you okay, Piccolo? Sorry, inside joke. Are you okay, Leopold? Uh huh. How can I lisp that, Leopold? Come on, give me something to work with here. I apologize for my loss of patrol. It's totally understandable. You don't need to be sorry. I will see to it that our friends are well avenged. Yes, thank you. Alright, now people are trying to kill me just for revenge. Which, meh. What are you going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do, folks. I think I'm going to cut the video here because, um... Yeah, we got like over 20 minutes now for me. It was a very short mission, but then a lot of trap messing about. So uh, when we come back, folks, we're going to actually do this video that we just saw all the plot stuff for. I believe this is a key video in the plot uh, determining what ending I'm going to get. But uh, we'll find out for soon, very very soon. And the game is almost over. We all have, we've already taken out the TMD, so you know you, you figure we can't have that many missions left. So, folks, when we come back, I'm going to deal with this, and I'm going to do a little goofing around with this to hopefully make it easier for myself to spot that I'm splitting the video here. And, um, yeah, when we come back, folks, Leopold, sadly, Leopold's life is over. We'll see you in the next video, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.